Hello everyone, welcome to a very exciting video. Today we're gonna to be talking all about the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. This video has it all. I really tried to put a lot in here while still keeping it succinct and hopefully like user friendly and easy to follow and all of that. So use timestamps to get where you want, but this is the newest midi palette from Natasha Denona. I bought this myself and this is what it looks like. It's upside down right now, but I am so excited for this. Is it warm toned? Is it cool toned what does this palette actually look like I hope to be able to answer that with swatches and with comparisons in this video I'm also going to do some demos and I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts as well so I hope you will enjoy a few words here at the beginning when I first saw this she posted uh some finger swatches of her going down her arm and those swatches got me okay <laughs> I was like, this looks so beautiful. I was hoping that this would have some really beautiful shimmers and I was so excited when I saw that there were so many shimmers in this palette. It's 15 shades and eight of them are shimmers, which I love that ratio. It seemed like they were gonna have some different finishes. And when I think back to the Yucca palette, which if you haven't seen my video on that, I'll leave it linked down below. The shimmers that are in there, I was really excited for and I was hoping that we'd get some similar finishes or at least something similar to that in here. And I'm happy to say, that we definitely have some nice texture going on in this palette. So this retails for $69, as do all the midi palettes. I do have a code if you're gonna shop on Natasha Denona's website specifically, you can save 15% off using my code LMB15. That is affiliated, so if you use it, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who has used my code. I really appreciate it. Obviously, no pressure at all with any of my videos, with any of my codes. I want you guys to get the makeup you want. I want you to be happy with your collection. You have to make those decisions for yourself, and I hope that I can just help you to do that whatever that is for you so without further ado let's get into some swatches I like to go through my swatches individually first kind of describe the color show them off individually I really like giving each of the shadows their own kind of limelight if you will so you can really see what you're getting sometimes when a palette has all of this you know going on it's hard to really know what's in there and I feel like that breakdown really gets into the nitty-gritty so let's watch the palette first all right this is the the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. The outside is so beautiful, like this beige kind of monochromatic look, very sculptural, very beautiful. Inside, you can see the palette here. I really feel like this is a neutral palette, not in the fact of it being like neutral colors, but in tone. Um, I feel like it does pull cool to me, but there are warmer shades in here and it's not like true grays, true smoky colors in that way. So let's get swatching. The first color in here is called Stone and this is a matte shade. It is like an ashy stone kind of color with a pink hue to it and so I find that that makes it a little bit more warm around the edges it's like the most dusty dusty gray rose kind of color like if concrete had a tinge of pink to it that's kind of the color I get from this moving to whisper this is a satin type of shade it has a nice like neutral brown base to it with like a silver shimmer on top so when it catches the light it shines but it does have a little bit of depth when the light's not shining on it next we have the shade Ella this is one of many kind of similar bronzes in here this is a pretty true bronze if you put this next to a warm tone it would look cool but it's not one of those purpley cool leaning bronzes it has a little bit of warmth it's a nice shimmer shade with some bigger like slightly bigger but bigger silver particles kind of going through it very very pretty then we have vague and this is like a dusty rose kind of color so this is one of the warmer shades in the palette but it has this rosiness to it it almost looks terracotta but it's like more desaturated than that so I really really love this type of tones it's almost like a rose wood as well but maybe a little more ashy than that last shade in the top row this is travertine this is one of my favorites it reminds me of Natasha Denona skin again it's another satin kind of color similar in texture and finish to whisper which we already swatched this one's deeper though it has again kind of a silveriness on top but not as intense and then it has like a neutral brown slash slightly pink undertone to it so again it looks cool compared to warm tones but if you put this next to a true silver or a true gray it's going to look warm toned to it moving on to the second row this next shade's delilah and this is more of a cool tone bronze than the other ones it has that warmth in the base though and then this one is very sparkly it's a thinner formula and it reminds me of like a moon dust formula so lots
lots of little sparkle in here. Really, really ethereal and beautiful. Next, we have the darkest shade in the palette. This is a matte. It's called Silhouette. And this is like a cool toned blackened brown, I would say. It almost has like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of purple in it. Definitely a nice, cool toned, deep brown color to add some depth to this palette because everything else isn't nearly as deep as that. Next, we have the shade Muse. This is the most kind of glam and I think sparkly shade in the whole palette. It has a kind of pinky warm undertone to it, still kind of neutral. Again, it reminds me kind of of Ritz in a way. You know how Ritz has that warm base but then that cooler sparkle on top so it's not quite warm but not quite cool. It's similar to that. This has some silver sparkle, some pink sparkle, not quite a confetti look to it, but it has a few other colors going on in there. Very, very sparkly. And this one, instead of it being like a light, thin kind of texture, it has a more grippy, thick, kind of texture. Moving on to Fair, this is a matte shade. This is just like a matte peachy kind of color. Not the most exciting color, but this can be useful for blending out shades or depending on your skin tone, maybe even a transition or setting down your eye primer if you do that. So that's the shade Fair. Last shade in the second row is called Filigree and this is more like a metallic. It reminds me of the formula in a way of Ella, but it's deeper. So this has that warm warm base underneath. It's bronze, but it's like a cool bronze, like a true cool bronze with some silver sparkle again in it. Very, very beautiful. I think all the shades in this palette are very beautiful. Moving on to the last row though, the next shade is called Wit, and this is one of the warmest in the whole palette. It is like a, a peachy terracotta, I would say. It's definitely giving a lot of warmth, but it works with so many of the other shimmers in here because they have that warmth in the base, and so I feel like blending it out, it looks really beautiful like that. Next, we're going to Sheen, and this is similar to Delilah in that it's that really sparkly, kind of sheer, thinner formula. The sparkle in here almost feels kind of weightless, like you know, like dust in a way. Uh, very beautiful, very sparkly. This shadow reminds me actually of Ritz as well. Maybe the kind of satinized version while still being sparkly. Next is the shade Tender. This is, I think, a really nice, true kind of taupey color. It's taupe in the way that it looks kind of gray, looks kind of purple, but again, on the edges of this color, it has some warmth to it. There's like a rosiness, a brown something. I, I can't even quite describe it, but it isn't totally cool when you just sheer it out, but when you build this up, it has a lot of gray and almost like a purpley tone to it. Next, we have the shade Mesh, and this is a kind of rosy taupe shade, so there's a a lot of rose, a lot of like purple. Another one that kind of reminds me of concrete if it had a rosiness to it, if you added gray to, I don't know, Pepto-Bismol in a way, like Andy saturated it, if that makes sense, you would get mesh. And then last here, this is the shade Mia, which is similar to those other really thin, sparkly, kind of sheer shades. Very beautiful, very ethereal. This one is kind of like a ballet slipper pink. So it has that pink tone to it, um, kind of in the base. And then there's this beautiful shimmery uh, silver on top. And it's very delicate, very like girly in a way, just ballet slipper pink. Seriously, that is the name of it. So that is the I Need a Nude palette all swatched out. You can see it here. Definitely some warmth coming through and depending on the lighting, it can look even warmer, but I do find on my eyes, I get a lot of nice cool tone looks. So I hope those swatches were helpful for you guys and you can kind of get an idea of each shade, what's in there, a little bit of the texture. Now let's move on to some comparisons. I'm gonna compare stuff between Natasha Denona stuff that I have, as well as some other palettes that I feel like are relevant or similar. So you can kind of see what the differences are not. So let's get into those comparisons now. All right, guys, so here we are on to some comparisons. I'm gonna compare against Natasha Denona palettes first. I'm gonna swatch when I find things that are similar, but I also am just gonna show each palette next to each other so you can get an idea of layout even and kind of what they look like just, yeah, up next to each other since I have so many palettes. So we're gonna start with the middies first. Since these are all the same size, I thought that would make sense. So let's get started with the comparisons. All right, we're starting off with the bronze. So this is the I Need a Nude. And here we have the bronze palette. Up close, nothing really looks similar at all in these palettes. Like there's no dupes between 
anything that I'm seeing or anything even remotely close, I feel like. So that is the bronze palette compared to the I Need a Nude. Next we have the Love palette here compared to the I Need a Nude. I feel like the only shade that could kind of fit in here or I think could is the shade transparent. It's like a pinky peach, really beautiful. And I feel like it could be close to Mia or Sheen. Nothing exact there. I'll put Muse in as well. Yeah, I don't find anything exact, but something somewhat similar or could work, I guess, in here is transparent. I realized the shade first and also the shade fair could be kind of similar, so I thought I'd swatch them out. So this is fair from the Love Palette. This is first from the I Need a Nude. Those are definitely pretty dang similar. And that's the Love Palette compared to the I Need a Nude. Next, this is the Sunrise Palette compared to the I Need a nude. I'm going to be saying that a lot. Sorry. I just want each piece to kind of be its own section. Similar, we have some of these kind of peachy shades. So I'm going to compare that into a few of these. So this is Laurel and then this is Muse and this is Sheen. I feel like Sheen is pretty close. It's different in texture and also not quite as golden, but I do feel like it's pretty similar. And again, I really feel like that's the closest kind of match we have going on in here. So that's the Sunrise compared to the I Need a Nude. All right, next here is the Zendo palette compared to the I Need a Nude. With this one, I'm really not seeing anything that close. This peach calm maybe could go to wit, but I feel like uh, the calm shade is going to be a lot more like orange and actually peachy, but there's a swatch. I mean, similar for sure, but this one has more of like a pinky tone to it. Something like more neutral, almost like salmony. This is more like truly kind of peachy. And that's the Zendo compared to the I Need a Nude. All right, now we're getting into one. I feel like that has a decent amount of at least what looks like could be similar shades. So I'm excited to swatch this out. I wanna do these mattes. So I'm gonna do Unity first, and then I'm gonna put Wit next to it. Kind of hard to pick up Wit. Sometimes these don't always swatch best with fingers. So this is Unity from the My Favorite Palette from Natasha Denona. That is Wit from the I Need a Nude. Then we're gonna do Carpe Diem. And I'm also gonna swatch Vague just so we can have an idea of what these tones all kind of look like. So there they all are. Not complete dupes, but definitely within similar families here, I would say. Um, I really love, again, like the tones coming from the I Need a Nude. There's something just more pink to them instead of orange, which makes Makes them lean not as warm like they're still not cool necessarily but they're also not like as orangey which really pulls warm at least on me and I feel like I interpret that as very warm I'm gonna do this also matte here this one's called nurture and I want to compare it to tender and you can see there that uh, tender is definitely way more cool toned. This is more brown and has more warmth to it. So that's Nurture versus Tender. Moving on to some shimmers. I wanna do Serenity and compare that to some of the other bronzy tones that are in here that have that like minky quality. All right, I swatched them all out. So this is Serenity from the My Favorite palette. Then we have Ella swatched out. This one is Travertine. This is Delilah, and then this is Filigree. So I feel like Filigree might be the closest, but they do have more of a texture difference. I'm really loving the textures in this new palette because they do have a little bit more sparkle. Some are a little bit more sheer, and I feel like this one here has more of like a metallic to it, and it doesn't have different sparkles at all to it. So I would say Filigree, though, is a pretty close dupe in color, just not necessarily in that full metallic finish that it has. I really don't think there are any other dupes in here, but I'm just gonna swatch a few others out because I feel like you might have this one and you're really trying to wonder if you need both. And I also feel like uh, that with the glam, um, you know, some of them just seem kind of similar. So I'm gonna put Spontaneous up here. This one's pretty golden and I don't feel like there's anything quite that golden in here. Muse and Sheen are probably the best fits, but I'm telling you, oh, Muse is so beautiful, you guys. That one's stunning. Um, and then this is Sheen and again, not really similar. I mean, if we're getting into the deep, like the intricacies here, they don't have that golden sheen at all. Um, I'm also gonna just swatch for fun the bubble shade because I thought, I don't know. 
I like this one a lot just to kind of see and again I don't think that's similar and I'm also gonna swatch thrill because again why not this one is more of like a golden peach duochrome and there's nothing really like that in the palette either so those are some comparisons there spontaneous from the my favorite palette then this is muse this is sheen those are both from the i need a nude and then the bubble shade and thrill are from the natasha denona my favorite palette so i don't feel like there's any dupes there very pretty colors similar colors they're all beautiful but again i'm like i'm feeling this Okay, so that's the Natasha Denona My Favorite Palette compared to the I Need a Nude Palette. Oh my gosh, why do I keep calling it my favorite palette? It's my dream palette. I'm so sorry, guys. If only I could read the palettes in front of me. Okay, the Glam Palette is really what I want to compare it to. I feel like in terms of full-size midi palettes <laughs> or just from the midi collection, I feel like Glam seems the most similar um, because this is kind of like the cool toned palette. Although, yes, there are some cool tones in here. There are also a lot of like golden colors so I'm interested to see how this actually swatches out so I'm gonna start with mattes first again I'm gonna go in with crease and I want to compare that to stone that's like the one that comes off the bat to me and you can see there how stone has a lighter it's just lighter in color but it has more of like almost a pinky purple tone to it I feel like smoke and tender are also kind of similar but I'm telling you, they're not gonna look similar once we get them on here. So there's Smoke, there's Tender. Again, definitely different. These have like a coolness to them that is more purpley and pinky leaning. These almost look more cool, but like brown. And then they almost seem like they have a tinge of green as well to them for some reason. So those are some matte comparisons. I feel like Blend, it's pretty obvious. This one's a lot more brown, like warm brown, whereas these have like a peachiness to them. Even these mattes don't look the same as this. This one's more like a blackened charcoal brown. This one has almost, again, like a tinge of purple to it. But let's do some of those bronzes against the kind of bronzy grays that are in here because I think that's where we'll see a lot of difference in the real ways these palettes are different. So we're going to do outer eyelid. <laughs> I don't know why she did this with the names on this one. Outer eyelid, absolutely stunning. I also wanna do the center eyelid, which is like a gray. And I'm also gonna do this outer eyelid, which is more of like, again, a bronzy color that is cool, but also kind of looks green almost. And then comparing that with the four shades over here, this is Ella, that's Travertine, that's Delilah, and then last, Filigree. So very different. You can see the tones here. They have that kind of bronzy topiness, but they aren't really cool in that they have a warm base on them, even if they are more cool for bronzes, whereas these have more of a true coolness, especially this one. I think this one's really stunning. But then this is like gray, and then this is like a bronzy gray green so definitely different I would say maybe these two are the most similar Delilah and outer eyelid the first outer eyelid on the glam palette but I find this did not have as much warmth in the base and this one is a little bit more sheer and um yeah, has that warmth coming out from underneath it a bit more. So those are some comparison swatches. All right, I'm gonna do now the lighter kind of goldeny shades just to kind of see how those look. So we'll do inner corner. I'm gonna do center eyelid and also brow bone. For this side, I'm gonna do whisper. Oh, that one's so pretty. Then obviously muse, always bring that one in just to get an idea. And then I'm gonna do Sheen again as well. I feel like Sheen matches the uh, inner corner shade in tone, but again, finish is a little different. It's not quite as like golden again as that one. Similar things going on, but I do feel like overall these lean more, again, kind of pink or silver or neutral, and these kind of lean more warm orangey gold in those slightest ways. So those are some swatches. And then last, I'm gonna do center eyelid, this pink one with this other kind of pink. And those are pretty dang different, not only in color, but also finish. This is more of like a standard metallic, and this is more of a really sparkly kind of thin, sheer, not flaky, but very sparkly 
PC, as in pieces, <laughs> shade. Um, very, very pretty and different. So that is the Glam palette compared to the I Need a Nude palette. All right, next for palettes, this is the Retro Glam palette. This is one of the newer ones. And this doesn't really have that much matching. I mean, there's a lot more color going on than in some of the other palettes. Even this tone, you can tell, doesn't really match anything else. It's called Maxi and it definitely has more of that cool, almost like a gray thing going on. A little bit of warmth coming out from the edges, but not nearly as much as like, I'm trying to think, maybe Delilah's the closest, but you can see how brown it is in comparison. So not super close there. In terms of flutter, I kind of just want to see how flutter is. If you love the shine on that, you're going to love Muse. They are not the same color at all. I actually feel like Muse is even more special than flutter, but it's if you like flutter in this palette, there's a lot of shades that have that kind of sparkle in the I Need a Nude palette. So that's really, I mean, I'm telling you, because this is like an olive, <laughs> you know, it has that like green base on it so yeah there's really nothing comparable in here so that's the retro glam this is the i need a nude this one's just on principle of showing you all of them the pastel palette compared to the i need a nude there are no dupes here these pinks are not the same this is like purpley pink this is not so this is dainty and this is mia very different this has a lot of a purple base going to it. This doesn't have any of that. It's more like a ballet slipper pink. So that's the pastel palette compared to the I Need a Nude. Here we have the Yucca palette compared to the I Need a Nude. This is the most recent launch in the midis from Natasha Denona. Very, very different. This one has lots of color going on. I feel like maybe flax could be looked at as something like tender or like silhouette, but you're gonna see just even in these swatches how different those are, so. Those aren't similar. I will say if you love like Plantasia and Komorebi from the Yucca palette, I feel like Muse is giving a lot of that. It's so pretty. It's just so highly sparkly and beautiful. So, but then there's other really just beautiful sparkles as well. So that's the Yucca palette compared to the I Need a Nude. Last midi palette here, this is the Retro compared to the I Need a Nude. I feel like this one has a few things going on, especially because this one has some more of those like rosy purple tones um, and kind of can lean a little cool. So I feel like almost like this is kind of glam and retro in one in a way you know, and the, the dream palette. If those all came together, this is kind of what you'd get. Anyway, let me do these pinks first because these seem the most similar to me. So this is Psychedelic from the Retro. This is Mia from the I Need a Nude. They look similar initially. They're different in texture first off, but this one has more of like this kind of confetti sparkle is what I call it. So you see these kind of blues and purples and greens. There's like multicolored, sparkle going on in a way that's like subtle yet so beautiful whereas this is more just like a silvery ballet pink they're both beautiful but i just feel like this one's a tiny bit more exciting in that way but um very similar in some ways too i want to do some of these mattes so i'm gonna do vivian i think it is this is like a cream to powder that one and then let's do nude mauve and then i want to do the shade mesh just to kind of see so mesh is somewhat similar, not nearly as dark though. So I think that's kind of interesting. I'll put stone in there as well. Stone's more similar to nude mob for sure. Maybe a little bit more gray tone. This has a little bit maybe more warmth to it, but very similar on those ones. I'm gonna do this Jude color and I also wanna do the Hello shade because they're kind of like the bronzy colors. And then I'm gonna compare them to the ones I always do <laughs> or have been doing. So this is Jude and this is Hello from the Retro palette. Then this is Ella. This is Delilah. I kind of switched up swatches here. This is Travertine. And then this is Filigree. So I don't feel like those are that similar. Again, maybe this and Delilah on the top of the sparkle could be kind of comparable, but this has more warmth. And again, different finishes. This is more like a true metallic. This has more of that sparkly top on it with that warm base kind of running underneath it. So I'm gonna do these last ones because there are these kind of like peachy, 
colors and I know they don't match, but I just kind of want to prove it. So this is Go Go, this is Patty. One's like a cream to powder, one's a shimmer, but I want to put Vague and Wit next to them just to kind of give you an idea of how they match up. So that's Vague, that's Wit, and they're definitely different. They kind of all complement each other, like kind of monochromatic moment, but different for sure. Okay, so that's the retro compared to the I Need a Nude. Here we are with the minis. I thought we'd do minis next and then we'll do the other large palettes because I just don't think that those are as relevant as the minis and the midis. I feel like she mostly comes out with those now. So I'm gonna start with the Starlet because I had a specific request to compare this. So I'm gonna swatch this on this side and see if I can find any like matching tones. So there's the Starlet swatched out. I feel like Muse could be kind of similar. Yeah, Muse is kind of similar to Galaxia, I think it is. Um, not the exact same, but definitely similar vibes. Vague could be kind of similar to, I think that's Nude Mauve in there. Wit also seems kind of similar. Get in there. This is Wit compared to that center shade. I'll put Tender next to here because we'll really see the purple come out and I think it's called Per Se. So definitely different there. And then there's nothing quite that warm and like kind of orangey, but I'll put Stellar here. So. I feel like, someone was like, I feel like this is the condensed down version of this. And in some ways it is, but it's like if you only took the more peachy and like, you know, pinky kind of tones from this palette and put it into a five pan, you're missing out on all these beautiful like minky bronzes that are cool yet warm. And I feel like those are my favorite types of shades and there's literally like four different options. Even this is kind of, like a light, light version of it. So those are what I really want. And that's what I want in the five pan more than anything. So I don't think that this subs for this. If anything, if you have this, you might not need this in my eyes. You know what I mean? Like that's the way it works to me, but some similar tones for sure between those five shades. This is the mini retro palette. This is Galaxia, which is the same shade that's in the new Starlight palette. So that's the same. And I feel like Muse was very similar. This is vintage taupe and and I feel like eh, it's like kind of similar to all of them, but not exactly. Like this is gonna be more orange. This isn't gonna be as warm. So I feel like there's really no other shade. Just Galaxia is kind of similar to Muse. Here's the mini glam compared to the I Need a Nude. I feel like these mattes are kind of similar. There's more purple in the I Need a Nude. So not exactly, but they're pretty similar in depth at least. I really don't see anything else, but I'll swatch this middle shade. And you can see how greeny, like that has like an olive tone to that bronzy gold. Like, so there's nothing like that in here. There really isn't. So um, that is the mini glam. Next, this is the mini Zendo. I feel like this terracotta shade could be seen as something like vague, but I don't think they're gonna swatch out. They're different. This has way more warmth, way more orange. Like terracotta, this isn't quite like that at all, so. Those are the closest on that. That's the mini Zendo. I don't feel like anything is even close to this, so there's no reason to really swatch, but if you wanted to see them next to each other, there they are. And then last year, this is the mini Star. I'll swatch this center shade just to see. I feel like Muse is the closest, but I know in finish, they're not even gonna be similar. So there they are. Not quite the same, I don't think. I'll even do sheen too, but again, finish is definitely not the same. So those are the closest things I feel like in the palette. Um, the browns, again, this is not gonna be as purple. So that's the mini star compared to the I Need a Nude. And those are all my mini palettes from Natasha Denona that I have. Now I'm just gonna show you guys all the other Natasha Denona palettes I have and just how they kind of stack up. I might not swatch nearly as much in this because some of these have 28 shades in them, but I want you to at least be able to see them next to each other. Other, so that can be kind of helpful. All right, so here is the I Need a Nude next to the Biba palette. I actually feel like this Monroe shade and Whisper, kind of similar, but one is like the silvery version and one is the warmer kind of gold version. Similar finish though, which I'm actually really excited about. It's kind of the satin, really beautiful. I feel like that's mostly it. This I know is gonna be more warm than Vague. 
So those are probably the closest in here, but they're kind of like the cooler and warmer version of a very similar color. So that is the Biba compared to the I Need a Nude. Okay, next here we have the Circo Loco compared to the I Need a Nude. There is nothing similar in here, but again, I just kind of wanted there to be a reference point in case anyone wanted it. Here it is. Circle Loco compared to I Need a Nude. Next here, this is the Trio Chrome palette compared to the I Need a Nude. I feel like this is a really slept on palette. I think it's really pretty, but I'm gonna swatch Garmin in collaboration or in comparison, what am I saying? In comparison to Vague, just because I kind of wonder. Those are pretty similar. I feel like Vague isn't as maybe pigmented almost or something, uh, but they have a very similar tone. This one might be a little more orange. This one might be a little bit more pink leaning, but pretty, pretty close overall. And that's really it. Diatonic is definitely more peachy than Wit is. So um, that is the Trio Chrome compared to the I Need a Nude. Okay, we're really bringing it back. We're getting into the older palette forms here. This is the gold palette compared to the I Need a Nude. I feel like there is really nothing similar in here at all. Um, these all lean very warm or just different in tone, even for the browns. The bronzes are different. This has some really pretty like greens and golds and all that. So nothing similar here, but this is the gold palette compared to the I Need a Nude. Next we have the Metropolis palette and this one, I don't really notice anything that's similar in here. I feel like this has more similarities to gold even or other palettes. So, or bronze, the bronze, it doesn't really share that much with the I Need a Nude at all to me. Just, it's kind of a different, you know, set of neutrals and other colors. So that's the Metropolis compared to the I Need a Nude. And last year I thought I would put both the 28 palettes just in here. Um, I really don't want to get into too much swatching, but one of my favorite shades is called Skin. It's such a beautiful, like bronzy, uh, it's not cool, but it's not like super warm. And I feel like this vibe in one shadow, if you could pop it and make it a 15 pan uh, based around this, it's what the I Need a Nude is, which is obviously so exciting for me because I really love that shade. So I thought I would swatch a few at least. Um, I feel like in terms of like the finish, Travertine's very similar. It's kind of that satin and that's why I love skin. Uh, I just think it's so pretty. I feel like Whispers, again, that kind of satin and looks so beautiful, but even those aren't very similar, but just to give you a vibe overall. And I'm gonna leave it here again. There's so many in this palette, but I feel like she's either bringing these back in new things or, you know, these are definitely a bit older. So I hope that just the overview is helpful for you guys and kind of the idea if you like skin, I think you're gonna like a lot of what's going on in the I Need a Nude. And that's really the shadow, like, I mean, out of all Natasha Denona shadows, probably the one I've used the most. I've used that so much, I love it. All right, I hope those swatches and the kind of overviews are really helpful for you guys. If you're wanting to know within the Natasha Denona catalog, what could be kind of similar or at least getting an idea of it with the different palettes that I personally own. I wanna now do a few side-by-sides of similar toned palettes, just so you can kind of see what they look like, especially some popular ones that have come out recently or I feel like give kind of this vibe. Maybe it's a different price point. Maybe it's something you might already have. I just thought it would be nice and I had a few requests specifically for a few palettes. So yeah, let's do that really fast. I'm gonna start with two ColourPop palettes. The palette I thought of the most of what I was hoping this kind of was, was the Going Coconuts from ColourPop because to me, although this is like a cool tone palette, it kind of leans neutral and a lot of the different like mattes in here, I feel like lean more warm actually. Um, so I wanted to put that in here and then I also thought I would do that's taupe. Yeah, that's taupe palette. Just so you guys can kind of see everything together overall. I want to swatch this one called shell. Yeah. And I'm going to swatch it with vague, very similar, not the same. This one's a little more pinky. This one's a little more just like brown or warm tone, kind of orangey, but so, so similar. I don't think there's a dupe for the shimmers in here, to be honest. Like this one here, I don't know, maybe Muse, but Muse is just so much more special. It has so much more sparkle to it, but the base on it is similar to the actual color of Coco Crush. So not very similar. Even De Coco, that one, it's almost like a golden green, reminds me more of stuff in the Glam palette than it does this one, the I Need a Nude. Like nothing looks like that in here. As for the That's Taupe, I feel like this one, Boa, is similar to maybe Mesh. Yeah, 
Those seem similar. There's Boa. There's Mesh. Boa is definitely more purple, but very similar, those two specifically. This one here, Rock Steady, is also looking kind of similar to Tender. Again, very similar to me. A little bit off in tone, but very, very similar. As for Bedrock, I kind of want to see if that is similar to Silhouette. So there's Bedrock and there's Silhouette. Again, not exact, but I feel like all of those, if you're really trying to save some money and you want those mattes specifically, pretty dang close in comparison. The shimmers though, again, I don't, there's not, they're not here. The shimmers don't match for sure. So those are some ColourPop comparisons. If you're looking for the Stone Cold Fox palette, mine's in disarray as in I've taken shadows out. So it's just not put together right now, but I believe Angela Bright did some comparisons. So definitely go check out her video for sure. She has some great swatches and just great eye looks. Just go check her channel out. Um, but yeah, uh, that's what I have, the Going Coconuts, the That's taupe compared to the I need a nude. Oh no, you can see me. I don't want you to see me. <laughs> anyway, sorry if that's creepy. Oh, let's do the other way. Kind of off in its own corner. Okay. This is the I need a nude compared to the Mario palette, the Etherealize. This one definitely came to mind to me, especially with some of the shimmers that are in here. So Mia, Sheen, and Delilah have a similar texture. It's not the same, but a similar texture to these kind of ethereal, really uh, sparkly kind of sheer lightweight eyeshadow shade. So I thought I would at least just see what they look like next to each other. Why not? We're here. If you're already this far into whatever, however long this video is, I know you want this. This is what you want. <laughs> I don't think we have any color matches here. And I will say, um, I haven't really, I was nervous at least about getting hard pan in these Natasha Denona ones, but so far it really hasn't worked out that way. I feel like I can still pick up a lot of product. Um, so this is Delilah, this is Sheen, and this is Mia. And I just feel like if you like the sparkle of those, these give that same very, very similar sparkle. So, so pretty. Um, and if you missed out and you wanna try that formula, again, very similar, where it's like light and thin, very sparkly. No exact color dupes though. I feel like Sheen and this shade here are the most similar. I mean, I think close enough at least. This one's maybe a little bit more dramatic. This one has a softness to it just because those sparkles kind of stick out from the base a little bit more. But otherwise, um, again, it's more texturally that I really found them similar. And I just wanna say so far as well, I feel like if you missed out on this palette because it was so limited and like went out of stock immediately, and I don't think it's ever come back. If you missed out on this though, I do feel like this palette seems the most similar out of things that I've seen come out to this, has similar finishes, similar tones, like the mattes, the shimmers. I think you're gonna get just such similar looks. And then that also means if you have this and you're not wanting this, you might be fine with just this palette. I have grown to love this more as I've used it. I just do simple looks with it though because these mattes are so blendable that sometimes it can get a little muddy. I can't get distinction out of them. Not that I even do that that much, let's get real. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out that I do feel like they're so similar in like concept, like overall idea, overall tones, that type of thing. And it's kind of cool if you missed out, you know, I feel like you're gonna get this color here, these colors are similar, which I'll swatch right now, but this color, these seem similar. Um, you have a dark brown. This one's even darker. There's some of these taupier tones. You get some of those in here. If you want the sparkle, you got that. You got a pink, like very, 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 very similar. If you can't tell, that's where I'm going with it. Okay, let me do some of these swatch comparisons. Not sure what color that is, but I'm going to <laughs> swatch mesh and stone. Stone is definitely the most similar. This one doesn't have as much purple in it though. I don't know if you can tell that. I wanna do this kind of peachy color or whatever. I don't know, what are we calling this? But dusty kind of rose. I'm gonna swatch it next to Vague as well as Wit. This is the Makeup by Mario. This is Vague, this is Wit. Not exact, but again, I just feel like Similar vibes for sure. And last, cause I just thought I'd be thorough with this palette since again, I know this is pretty beloved and again, not available. So I'm gonna swatch these more bronzy tones with the other bronzy tones, just in case you were like, I wanna see it, I need the proof. They're not similar to the ones in here. Um, I like the ones in here better overall, to be honest, but let me swatch them out. All right, so these are the two makeup by Mario. And then here we have Ella. Then this is Travertine. This is Delilah and this is, what is it, Filigree? 
I believe. Filigree and this shade are similar. This is more warm though. It's like a true like reddish bronze almost. Um, and this has that warmth to the base, but then that kind of cooler sparkle and sheen on top. So I just love these tones. These might be too similar for some people, but for me, oh my gosh, like the tiny differences in finish, it's perfect, it's perfect for my everyday. I got three to four everyday eyelid shadows right here. One shadow looks, especially uh, travertine. That is a for sure one shadow look because it's that perfect, not too sparkly, but not matte that I feel like, oh, is like subtle. It's a subtle winner, man. I, don't, I know it doesn't look as fun as some of the other shades, but these are the shades that really win my heart in terms of use. But that's not what we're talking about here. Those are some comparisons, Makeup by Mario, Etherealize, and the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. Another palette I wanted to compare this to is the Persona Identity. I really love this palette. I've been using it so much, like ever since I got it, but even just this summer, I've been using it a ton. And so I wanted to compare it because I have some go-to shades here and I just wanted to see how they compared. I do have a code with Persona if you guys are interested in this palette from seeing it here or whatnot, so you can always check that out. All my codes are always in the description box, but I wanna do Seductive more than anything because Seductive is the one I wear a lot, and this is similar to the types of shades that you're getting a lot of in this Natasha Denona palette. This is the type of shade I love. It is cool but has that warmth on the edges, and it's stunning. Like, this is so so pretty so let me let me get my four my four girls let me swatch them out for you guys all right so here they are i actually find the persona to be of the cooler of all of these um just on that top sheen oh it's so pretty these look just slightly warmer in comparison to them Nothing exact, but all very similar types of tones and finishes, my favorite types of minky bronzes. If I had to pick one shadow here that I had to go home with, I almost feel like I would pick Seductive um, or Delilah. I really love Delilah and Travertine. I don't know, I can't pick, don't make me pick, but um, really pretty, nothing exact, but similar tones. If you love this from the identity, this might be a palette to try out if you're willing to go just slight, slightly, slightly, slightly warmer. So that's the identity palette compared to the I need a nude. I guess I did want to do this like gray tone as well and just see like, is it close to tender? Is it not? Pretty similar, pretty similar to tender. So just wanted to show those, but that's the persona identity. That's the I need a nude. I almost feel like this is getting kind of ridiculous at this point, but I'm going to keep going. I had someone say that this reminded them of the uh, jewels and gems, I believe. Yeah. Jewels and Gems from Odin's Eye. And I just thought I would put them next to each other. I can kind of see the vibe, but this one just has so much more color. Like this has so much more variation just in general, all the different tones you can go. It has blue tone grays and, you know, greeny golds and just so much more in here. And I also feel like in general, just kind of goes more saturated overall, but um, I don't see anything in here that's exact at all, but just thought I'd put it next to each other in case you wanted to see them. Another palette I thought I'd put it next to, kind of a weird setup here, sorry, but I have the Dominique Cosmetics, uh, the Essential palette, and I just thought I'd see because, you know, it has this kind of rosy tone and it has these kinds of shades. I don't think there's anything super similar necessarily, like again, overall neutral, neutral neutrals, some similar tones, but if we're getting into like similar as in dupes, like where they're the same color. I don't think there's anything exactly like that in here, but thought I'd just kind of, you know, show you what they look like next to each other. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully that's helpful. Another one I wanted to put in here because I just got this Tom Ford quad. This is the Tropical Dusk. Yeah, I had to make sure. And I felt like this kind of, you know, rosy tone reminded me of Vague. Um, and even Wit, but Wit's more peachy and Vague is not as pink, so they're not similar. And even these tones aren't quite the same as any of the shimmers that are in here, but again, just wanted to put it next to it because it reminded me of it and I just wanted to see if there was something that, that close. That's the Tropical Dusk compared to the I Need a Nude. Last two kind of things. This is a weird one and I just need to bring out, I've been planning or like thinking about doing this video, which you know me, if I'm thinking about it, who knows when it'll come up, but this is the uh, I Need a Bun, Cinna Bun, the Chosen Bun from Beauty Bakery. And I just feel like these tones, again, when it came to the shimmer specifically, I was just like, maybe, maybe there's something going on here. You know what I mean? Like these are so pretty. I thought I'd just show you this palette in case. <laughs> 
you were interested in it because I don't feel like I really hear people talk about it. And it has some stunning shimmers in here. I think Sheen might be similar to vanilla and it's even like these are really nice sparkly pretty little shimmers. So those are pretty similar, I think overall. Um, otherwise, I really don't think they're that similar. This has more purple in it. This is more warm. I just wanted to kind of bust it out, see. Just like, why not? While we're here, let's do it. And then last, these I'm just throwing in because they're relevant. Like these are limited edition Shantakai eyeshadows from the Wild Horses collection. So this won't be that relevant later on. But since when I'm putting this up, these are a new collection. And I feel like these tones are like, I love. Can I open them? I'm so sorry if these nails also look so fake because they are. They're very fake. Anyway, this is the shade Roan and this is the shade Pinto. And I just thought I would, you know, swatch them next to some of these in case you bought these because you love them and because I love them or whatever. And you're like, I'm a single shadow girly. I don't know if I need these. I thought I would just see, let's see. Pinto is my favorite of the two. So pretty. Kind of reminds me of that Persona shade actually. And then Roan is more bronze and warm, but very similar vibes in single form to these, right? Totally. Let me answer my question. So here we are. Here are some swatches, guys. Um, this is Pinto. This is Roan. This is the shade Delilah. Travertine, this one's Ella, and then this one is Filigree. And all of these, again, are more of like a bronze. We see the purple, or I hope you can see that this is more of that minky, purpley, taupey, like satin taupe kind of shade. These have more brown in them than they do purple leaning, which I think makes them look even more warm toned. This almost looks rosy and purple compared to those. So nothing that similar, actually. I, I don't think these are similar. I mean, they give similar vibes. Again, I'm talking about like pretty intricate differences here, but that's what I I want to talk about. So hopefully that's helpful. Just wanted to throw them in since they're pretty relevant in the moment and I've been loving both of them, but specifically Pinto. And I wanted to see too, is this similar? Cause I kind of thought it was, but I don't think it is nearly as much as I would have thought if I hadn't swatched them out. And oh my gosh, you guys, that brings us to the end of the swatching portion of this video. I hope these comparisons were helpful for you guys. If any of those are on your radar, you have them at home between the Natasha Denona palettes and those other things I thought were kind of relevant. But now let me show you how I made this eye look. Okay, so I've done three looks with this palette. So this one, unfortunately, the footage of me doing it got lost, but I mostly am just wearing travertine in this look. Very simple. I really wanted to show just one shadow essentially. And so that's all over my lid. I used a brush and then I did use my fingers. I put a little bit of the shade uh, mesh on the outer corner just to kind of give it a nice blend. And then on my inner corner, I used a Mia. I added that pink just for a nice little sparkle, but so simple. This is like an easy, easy everyday look for me. For the second look, I really wanted to bring in some of the warmer, rosier tones. So I first put in mesh. <laughs> I went with that first. I really wanted to get a base down and then I took wit and kind of blended out the edges of that gently and added that warmth there. I thought that would be pretty. Then I took vague and put that in the outer corner and really built that up as well. For a lid shade, I wanted to go in with Delilah just because I wanted to try one of those really sparkly kind of sheer shades all over the lid. I thought this looked so pretty, blended out so nice over all of this. I used a little bit of my finger but then also went in with a brush to kind of smooth it over because my nails are so long. I added a little bit of vague on my lower lash line. I wanted to bring in more rosy tones, but then also used a little bit of an eyeliner. And then for an inner corner, I put a little bit of sheen down. I just wanted to see if this was light enough to work as a highlight for me. It was a little bit dark, not unusable, but maybe not my preferred inner corner highlight. But um, yeah, I added some mascara and that was the second look that I did. Really liked this. I thought it was kind of smoky but really blown out. And I feel like this version of a look, again, I could do with so many of the different colors that are in here, pick any of the mattes and then do any of the lid colors in whatever combination that works for you. I think that's like a good formula, if anything. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Now let's move on to the live demo of the look you're seeing in the video. This is gonna be my third look. So if my eyes look a little red or they water, um, yeah, my eyes are a little sensitive. So please bear with me. For this look, I really wanna use Muse. I haven't used it yet. I did some more like simple looks and just things I feel like 
I would do every day. And I was kind of saving Muse because it's really sparkly and I kind of want to make it more the, the showstopper. Like, we'll see. I mean, <laughs> let's not get too dramatic too fast. I'm also making this a look that I would like do in normal life. That's how I'm doing all of these. Like, I don't want to just create a tutorial just to do it. I want what I would actually opt to wear sometime in the day. So I am going to put a base down. The other two looks I didn't. I already have my eyes primed, but this one's from ColourPop and it's kind of coming off at this point. But I just want to have a little bit of a base down. I love doing this with any of my looks. And this is like a daily practice for me, so. And this I feel like has a similar kind of tone to the rest of the tones in the palette Maybe even a little bit more purpley or like cool tone But I find with these they leave behind a bit of a shimmer, but they're not super opaque once I blend them out Okay, I think for starting off I've used muse a lot and I kind of want to go into muse I kind of want to go into stone. I think i'm going to try stone first I'm mostly just going to be putting this in the outer corner at this point I'm just building that up because muse is gonna go all over the lid. I already have kind of a transition and like a softness from that single shadow or that cream shadow. Now I'm gonna just take my finger. I might add a brush because these nails, <laughs> I tried press-ons and they're okay, but also not. And then also they kind of look like cheap party city wedding nails. So I don't know. Anyway, don't judge me as what that all was. I might bring a brush in because these nails are long, but Muse is absolutely stunning. This has like a thickness to it. It's kind of grippy, but it's still really sparkly. I'm definitely gonna need to use my brush for that inner corner. All right, there's Muse on my eyes, very pretty. It adds a little bit more texture with the sparkle than some of the other shadows in here, but still really beautiful. I kind of want to add Ella, this shade here on the outer corner, um, just on top and kind of adding some depth, but with shimmer. And I'm just adding that using a brush because I think it will be easier for me. I really love where the look is at. I don't want to really add too much. I might add a little bit of tender. I'm using this small brush from BK Beauty, the 207, really keeping that more toward the lash line. I'm going to add a little bit of mascara and then I'm going to add my wing after. I kind of like doing that because it gives me a guide. I don't know. It makes it like lower stakes for some reason. Okay, major sound issues right now, but I'm going to do the wing with the darkest shade in here, which is Silhouette. And I'm using my BK Beauty 208, which is my favorite little liner brush. For the lower lash line, I'm not going to add any liner, but I am going to use a little bit of shadow. I'm going to first, uh, I think I'm going to go in with stone actually. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the outer corner, lower lash line, just to add a bit of a shadow without anything too dark. I am gonna use a highlighter for my brow bone and inner corner. I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona. I think I'm gonna use Super. Uh, super Glow might be too, I'm gonna use Super Glow. This is Super Glow in number two, I think. Yeah. All right, here is the look all finished. My eyes are watering a little bit at the corner, so I hope it looks okay. So pretty, so glam. I could definitely make it deeper if I wanted to, or even make this kind of look with a little bit on the inner corner, like a halo eye. I think that'd be really pretty, but I feel like this is definitely like a glam moment I would do every day. So really, really love this look. Now let's talk about my thoughts on the palette. All right, guys, you've seen the swatches, you've seen comparisons, you've seen my three different looks. Now I want to give you some overall thoughts on the palette. First, I want to talk about packaging. I absolutely love, love, love this packaging. So monochromatic, so beautiful. I like these more substantial palettes that she's been doing lately. This reminds me a lot of the retro. It's like the same thing as this one. It's a little bit more substantial than the other midi palettes even. And I really love that. If you guys don't know another reason I really love the packaging, you can depot the shadows in the back. They just pop out with a little pin. You can and poke through and then you can rearrange shadows if you want let's say you wanted this in a different order you could do that if you have other Natasha Denona palettes you can kind of get creative move things around customize your palettes and I really really love that I've talked a lot about that in different videos whenever I talk about Natasha Denona but it really is something that I just encourage you guys to do especially if you want to get excited about your makeup again it can be fun to rearrange things and breathe new life into your makeup just by switching it around just by giving it different contexts with different shadows and colors around it and I think that's just such a bonus for her eyeshadow palettes is that they become these kind of ever moving ever changing things if you want them to be so I just love noting that all the time just 
in case you're new or you don't know that about the palettes. I think it's just a really awesome kind of pro thing that's built into these palettes, even though they're made for, you know, regular makeup lovers and consumers as well. That being said, let's get into this actual palette. I don't want to like jump the gun here. Obviously, I've only had this a little bit, but I have to say, I think this is my number one Natasha Denona Midi palette. Like I really, 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 really love this palette. I feel like every single shimmer in here is a shimmer I could see myself buying as a single, like truly as a single, uh, whether it's a single shadow from a brand or a single shadow in just like a pan form, all of the shimmers that are in here, I would do that with. And then on top of that, the mattes that are in here are all really, really perfect for me for every day. I have one dark color to do like liner or really smoke it out, but then all the other mattes that are in here really help me create a soft everyday kind of look. It's hard to say if this is cool toned or warm toned. I know in different lights it looks different and I know in different skin tones it's also going to look different. I find on me that this is a cool toned palette that doesn't look gray on me. I love cool tones. I love those minky taupey bronze shades. Something that has a little purple, a little silver, something going on. But when things are a little too gray toned they don't look very natural on me and I find with the shades that are actually more cool in the glam palette from Natasha Denona they do tend to pull more gray on me more smoky in that way whereas with this palette I feel like overall my looks on my eyes look very cool toned but they all have this tiny bit of warmth they're not true true gray cool tones smoky cool tones like that and so I find that they really blend out nicely that's sometimes an issue I have with grays and silvers and things like that it's hard to blend them out to look natural but because these have have that little bit of warmth to the edges and kind of that not quite cool 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 tone to them I find them really wearable but still cool toned looking on my eyes not warm toned looking on my eyes there are a few shades in here wilt does turn a little bit warm on me so does vague and even sheen does a bit but they're kind of warm in the way that like Ritz the Ritz eyeshadow from Colourpop is on me that's how sheen is to me or even Urban Decay's Moon Dust shadow I think it's Space Cow boy that also you know kind of can turn a little bit warm but it's not like warm warm because there's silver sparkle going on so I find this to be you know leaning cool but kind of in that neutral realm it reminds me of the ethereal eyes palette from makeup by Mario it reminds me of the going coconuts palette from Colourpop where when you really get down into those palettes like how cool cool are they but they kind of ride that line and I find even these like vague and those pinky tones and kind of some of the pinky tones going in the grays that are in here again just really blend out so nicely on me I am just obsessed I have so many single shadow looks in here everyday looks in here and with the other Natasha Denona palettes that I have they're stunning and amazing but as I've gone to a little bit more simple makeup at least at this point in my life in this moment of my uh, preferences sometimes those full-on metallic colors sometimes those deeper colors just aren't what I'm wanting they're a little too much for every day this really does go on easy enough and like everyday enough but also there's a difference in the shimmers that are in here and I kind of touched on that throughout the video but Sheen, Mia, and Delilah all have a thinness to them, a sheerness to them that really is beautiful and luxe looking but I do find helps it to be a little bit more wearable again for me because the pigment that goes on isn't so opaque and isn't so intense and you can get kind of a fluttery look, you can get a softer look, it can still be built up and be full pigment for what those shadows do. I hope I'm explaining this in a way that you guys get, but I just find it to be a little less overall intense in a way that I love while still having impact because they're sparkly. There's lots of shimmer going on in this palette. Like I said, Mia Sheen and uh, Delilah all have quite a bit of sparkle to them. They're again, kind of like the moon dust shadows. They're like the uh, really sparkly shadows in the Etherealized palette from Makeup by Mario. So I think those are best used with a glitter glue if you really want all day wear but I kind of like the way they look when they kind of wear in a little bit and are on the eyes things like whisper and travertine that are in here are more of like that satin formula I feel like that's actually a formula I really like from Natasha Denona it reminds me of the skin shadow that was in either the green brown or purple blue palette so um, I really love those just for everyday single shadow kind of looks Ella and filigree are kind of this in between where they're not a full-on metallic but they're not a full-on just like sparkly 
shimmer either. They're somewhere in the middle. And then Muse is one of the most sparkly in here, most intense, kind of most glam shadows. It has almost a grippy texture to it and it has a lot of sparkle. I find it adds a little bit more texture onto my lids than some of the other sparkles in here, but it's very high impact, very high shine, absolutely stunning. I wanna pop this in because I had a few other things I wanted to say about the palette that I forgot about and then remembered. I wanted to mention about the shimmers that for four of these, they are very similar in tone. They just change a little bit in depth and they also change in texture. So specifically Ella, Travertine, Delilah, and Filigree. You'll see that if you watch the comparison part of this video, but I feel like those all have that same kind of taupey, bronzy, minky quality without turning to purple. Like they stay brown still, but more cool toned. And they all kind of have a silver thing going on, but then have a little bit of that warmth in the base. And I just find them very, very similar. So if you really want more options in a palette, I don't know how that will be for you. Those are the types of shades I like to wear on my eyelids as single shadows. So for me, having all the different textures and tones like works out, but I could see that being maybe disappointing for someone. So I just want to point that out. Very, very, very similar in tone, very, very similar in color, just some small finishes. But I just wanted to point that out for sure. In case you were hoping those are going to be way different from each other. I mean, on the eyes, you can see some differences for sure, but I just feel like they're very much variations of a similar color. So I'm just so happy with all of the shimmers, like I said, and then the mattes, I feel like pair so nicely. They're mattes I actually wanna use every day, and I just think this is a stunning little palette. I'm beyond happy with it. It's a palette that I could actually see myself traveling with and having everything I would need. The only thing that isn't in there is like a true highlight, like brow bone and inner corner for me, but a lot of the times I use whatever is on my cheeks to do that, so that's not a big deal for me. It's good, it's very, very good. I like it more than the glam palette. I like it more than the retro glam palette. I like it more than the retro palette. Like it's my favorite full-size palette. And even my favorite out of like any of the eyeshadow palettes from Natasha Denona. Like truly, if I had one recommendation, if you wanted tones like me and you like the way I do my eyeshadow for every day, that type of stuff. This is the palette I recommend, to be honest. So I am very, very happy with this. You know, it's gonna be hard to outdo this one, to be honest. <laughs> It's gonna be so hard. So that is my review. I really hope that my comparisons and my demos and all the swatches were helpful for you guys in deciding if this is gonna be the right palette for you. If you have this palette, leave your thoughts down below. Let everyone know what you think of it, but I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.